uh, hello? Hello? Uh, well, geez, you made it to, uh, your fourth night there, and I guess you haven't died yet, so, uh, good going. Good going. Uh, listen, there are some things you should know about Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and one of those things is that the building will occasionally, sometimes spontaneously combust for no reason, and there are narwhals, uh, trained to kill, that have been infected with rabies in the aquarium in Hallway B, and sometimes they like to break out, and you'll hear them coming. It sounds, it sounds like a sort of a rhythmic wet slapping against the floor as they crawl toward you on their bellies, trying to impale you with their single horn, and then bite you and presumably give you rabies, but you'll be dead by that point. Because actually, you know, once once the horn goes through your chest, you're 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 already dead. So, yeah. Also there are the gremlins. Uh we call them like Mogwai and Gizmo and whatever the fuck. They have little names and all that, but you know, just uh d- d- don't 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 feed them after midnight. Basically, you you feed them after midnight. They go a little crazy. Uh you know, they'll tear off your face, but it just, I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Also, by the way, don't touch uh, any of the wiring that may be loose. Um, not only will it give you an electric shock, but we also have trapped an otherworldly extra-dimensional being in the electrical lines. Uh, he's not carbon-based like you or I. He actually is made of pure electrostatic energy. He's, he's really mad in there. He, he doesn't like to be in there. If I was trapped in the electrical lines, uh, you know, I wouldn't be a happy camper either. So yeah, there you go. Uh, you should be able to get through your fourth night here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and if you are dismembered, if your head is torn off, or if you lose your skin, or, you know, let's say something gnaws off your toes, if you are put into a permanent coma, or set on fire, or if you inexplicably drown in your office, um, Freddy Fazbear Entertainment Incorporated LLC is not responsible. So that's about it. Uh, enjoy your job here. We're really happy to have you as part of the team. Oh, but one more thing. Do not speak to the disembodied skull that hovers in meeting room C. Uh, you, you would just want to trust me on that one. Not even hello. And it doesn't matter what he says to you, you know, don't carry on a conversation, don't reply, don't respond. He can get a little bit irate and insulting, but just don't, don't, don't sink to his level, is what I'm saying. So yeah, there you go, that should be it for you, and enjoy your, uh, fourth night here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, if you're still alive by the end of this recording. Okay, see you around. All right, yeah, I told him. Yeah, who who had uh who had four days in the death pool? No. Okay, yeah, no, it wasn't me. Uh uh-uh. uh No, no, no. I had one day. Yeah, one day. Well, you know, better luck next time, I guess. What is this? Uh, the forty seventh night watchman we've had. Yeah, forty seven. Forty seven poor schmucks that have come through, and ended up as bear food. Yeah. All right. Well, uh. No, 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 he's fucking dead. He's gonna, yeah, he's not, <laughs> don't worry about that. No retirement parties for this guy. Got a real genius. All right, so yeah, all right, oh shit. Hold on, I gotta hang up. <laughs>